hello and thank you for being here. Well today I'm taking a canvas and I'm using some paint that I was using on a different project and I'm making this really cool background and then uh, I decide to paint a rooster on it. So it's really fun. I hope I can inspire you and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay I've got some extra paint that I'm working on a painting but I needed to dry so if I don't use the paint it is going to get all dried up and like I talked about in other videos I don't like to waste my paint so this is a canvas that I have that I want to work on so I thought well you know what I'm gonna make a background for this and it'll inspire me to get started on it it's nice to have backs backgrounds at least started a little bit I can always go over this um, heavier with other colors and you know once the acrylic dries do more layers on here but for now I am going to just kind of do it with these colors mix them up and put them down I encourage you to do this because it it, it is. The creativity just keeps flowing. Now I'm concentrating creating on a different painting and then sometimes I need a break. So this is a nice break because this is just whatever. I have no plans for this at all. I don't know. It's going to be just you know a fun project. I don't know if it'll be flowers, I don't know if it'll be a girl, I don't know if it'll be scenery, I mean I I don't know but um, you know most of the time you take out too much paint you don't wind up using it all and this is really um, oh, is this my Winsor Newton this is my Winsor Newton acrylic that I'm using on the painting that I'm doing for someone and golden so it's um, pretty heavy and I like that uh, for what I'm working on okay I'll put a little bit more white in here yeah. and I'm really enjoying doing the large painting but um, like I said, it's time for a break. Look back, stand back, and take a break. I think that's better to do than wind up doing something that I don't like, and then I have to go over it. So, which you can. I mean, that's no big deal. But sometimes me, I need a break from a painting and having always having a journal or something around that I can slap on some paint <laughs> is always very helpful so and I don't know if this is going to be a vertical painting this one or a horizontal but I am kind of painting it horizontally but you know who knows I'm just going to do this very soft background and then um, let it dry and then come in with, with the rest of the paint and kind of do some dabs on it and maybe um, let it run, you know, but I don't want it to run right now. I want it to coat this canvas and um, do 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 do. Oh, look at that, how pretty. So apparently I'm not done. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay, Rita. Let's let that just kind of dry, and then I'll do a runny coat over it. I'm really liking it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to hold this up so you can actually see. I'm hoping that the colors come out. It's really pretty. It's very bright, but unfortunately the camera is making it a little bit darker than what it is. Let me just see if I can brighten it up a little bit. Mm, oop, 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 oop. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so here I just took my brush and said, you know what, I'm just going to run color through this. I was going to do drippings and stuff, but then I thought, you know what, I really just want to put some color. I want to play with color. So that's what I did. I just took one of my brushes, um, I think it's an inch and a half or an inch brush, and just um, took some paint on it, nice and thick, and, and just ran it through different ways, vertically, horizontally, on the sides, around, glopped it up, and um, I really turned out that I, that I loved it. So it turned out to be a really good background. At this point, I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. I wasn't sure, and I sprayed it a little bit. Here we go. I did spray some water on it, let it run a little bit, but I didn't do it really runny, runny. I just wanted to loosen it up a little bit because it was really thick. And uh, you can see it's wet. So just, just to loosen it up a little bit. And then I'm doing the sides. And um, yeah, it's funny how this turned out because I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing going to do with it. I was just kind of having fun with the canvas. And that's like so cool, right? It's a nice break. So what I decided to do with this, and let me just make the color better. It just... I don't know why, but this camera is just very touchy when it comes to lighting. I don't know if your webcams are, and I don't, if you have a webcam and um, you don't seem to have problems with lighting, can you let me know what you do, how special that webcam is? Because I'd like to have one that doesn't give me problems. Okay, so this is the, the picture. You've seen the rooster, hopefully. Well, I'll put, put at the end, the other one that I'm doing. Well, I thought I'd do another rooster, but in a different in different colors. Okay, so this, this I don't know why, but the background reminded me of kind of a Barney Farmy look got me who knows you know who knows why we do the things we do I'm gonna take a break and kind of play with this one so I'll probably have it go fast I'm gonna be doing classes on these roosters um, in my studio so uh, in October I'm gonna get a whole bunch of different ones done not just roosters but other things and then have some classes set up for the month of October because we're getting you know I mean that's the fun month you know and September is too I love September and if you guys uh, check out my I think it's on my create lovelies Etsy shop I oh yes that's where it is I'll put the link below I have a September girl and, and an October girl and uh, they're so cute. You get the downloads of the girls, the, the uh, sketches, and then you get some little papers and stuff to download too. They're really cute. So if you're interested in something like that, um, that is available for September and October. I have never done another one. I was going to do one. You know, when I started those, I was going to do one for every month, and then it just didn't work out. So, But I have September and October, and they're so cute. And, I, you know, I put them out every year. So uh, they're there if you're interested. Okay, so let me get with this uh, rooster. This is the same uh, sketch I did for the other one. So I'm going to do, it's pretty much exactly the same, except for, you know, a rooster has different colors. So that's how I'm going to change them around, just changing the colors and the whole background is different. The other one is black, and I, like I said, I'll show you pictures of that one. So um, I've got, um, today I'm using a, a mix of Deco Art Premium in the tubes, this, and then I'm also using uh, some Windsor New Newton, different colors of that one. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch. Uh, Basics, the uh, Liquitex, and then also the Liquitex, the uh, 
the, the heavy body one. So I'm, I'm going to be using a mixture of those and probably throw in other colors than what I'm showing here. But just so you know, I'm using, I'm trying to use um, more of a uh, pigmented color, the ones that have the more pigments. And I do have more Liquitex, which I'm going to take out too. And I also have more Winsor Newton, which I love. Uh, I love their acrylics too. It's just, they're it, well, you know what? They're really not that expensive. They everything is expensive. So what are you gonna do when you're an artist? You spend all your money on supplies. I mean, that's just the way it is. So, well, I'm gonna stop here and play some music and start doing my rooster for you. Okay, so I used some chalk and just drew the rooster on there. It's bigger than the sketch, so you know I just drew it a little bit larger, just really crazy randomly you know you don't really need you just need to kind of have the boundaries so you know where to go but with the rooster it's so easy it's like who cares right so I did that and now I'm just adding in um, some yellow and I'm going to add in some red and um, just do com kind of completely different colors than I did with the other rooster so I just wanted this one to look more of a barnyard kind of rooster you know, years ago when we lived in Arizona, we lived there for a long time and we decided to build a house up in this little town called Mayer, Arizona. So my husband built this house up there and we only lived there for a year. Uh, it didn't turn out the way, well, the house turned out great. It's just that the schools and being so remote, it wasn't really good when you have young kids. So we decided to move back down to Phoenix. But while we were up there, we had some cool animals. I mean, we had roosters and chickens. We got eggs from them. I mean, it was really fun. And we had horses and sheep. And I think I put pictures on Facebook of that house um, and the little animals. So it, it was really fun. But we had two roosters. One was this really pretty black little rooster named Blackie. And then the other one, I think his name was Henry, I think, I'm not sure, Henry or Harry. And he was a Rhode Island Red, which was really, you know, really colorful. And But he was nasty. He was, as, as soon as you tried to go in there to feed the chickens and him, he would come at you and snap at your feet. And your, you had to wear boots because he was just a nasty soul. Uh, but he was pretty. So I do love roosters. I've always enjoyed having a rooster. You know, I always have a little rooster, like ceramic rooster in my kitchen. And my sister always used to say that they were good luck to have in your kitchen. I don't know if it was so you didn't burn any food or what, but um, we've always had little roosters. And now I have, I had a white one that she gave me and it broke and uh, broke a couple of years ago when I packed it away when we moved and I've got to get it out because I've got to glue it back together. A little piece, of, just a little piece of the tail came off. And then recently, oh, about seven months ago, I bought another little rooster, and I have him in my kitchen. He's more colorful. Hers was white. Now, oh, that'd be really nice, huh? To do a white rooster. I may do that next if I'm still in the mood to do roosters. But um, you know it. They're they're just they're really beautiful animals. Even you know I know they make noise and you know they wake you up and but I like that sound in the morning. I mean I really that enjoy that was one of the things I really enjoyed about living up there and uh, having these cool animals. So you know and this is really easy if you pick a size brush that you're comfortable with. It doesn't matter and then just feather. Just make feathers. Just kind of feather your um, strokes and just blend your paint. You see, I'm using a lot of different colors, like different layers, trying to figure out, you know, what colors I want to come through. Now, that leg is the back leg, so I have to make that a little darker. And then I move on, and I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, it, it really looks really red in this. Uh, but there are layers of white, and I think I used some fuchsia, and I made some orange, and um, what else, yellow, and then I'll come in and I'll put some black in there, and more white, 
and just lighten it up in a lot of areas and then darken it in a lot of areas like I want to make the underneath portion dark and then I do add to him and give him a little bit more of uh, a body because he, he looked too thin and though some of them are thin uh, they're not all big you know brute chested but you know I just added a little bit more volume to his body and you'll you'll see that uh, at the end now here I'm I'm yeah just feathering feathering and layering just trying to make darks and lights in there and just have fun you know I mean this is a really fun project uh, a rooster I think birds are so much fun to uh, paint they really are I I mean I need to start doing more of them so um, I'll start with the roosters right and uh, have fun. And here I'm just doing um, the grass kind of, you know, different, just feathering the grass too the same way. Just got a smaller brush and going in there with different color greens and, and some uh, browns and yellows and whites and, you know, kind of just doing that, giving it a little shadow, brighten it up a little bit and just keep going over and over. It's really very much, it's a lot of fun and just relaxing when you're doing something like this you really don't have anything like intentional it just has to be blades of grass looking you know the easiest kind of things you can do you can add some flowers um i don't i just keep it just with the grass i just i like the, the i wanted the background to really be to play a, a major part besides the rooster um i really like that background so i didn't want to add too much Kind of, but you know, grass is always fun and easy to do. So just take different color greens that you like and and just play around and make little feathers of grass to go with the feathers on the rooster. And I, I kind of took a break from the rooster 
Uh, and that's why I'm doing the bottom part because I do add more color to him. And um, so I added some black, I add some more white, I feather him up more, and I'll show you a picture of it done. But um, yeah, just have just have fun. It came out so red looking in this video. It really has a lot more color in it than just the red. But I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to hold it up to you so you could see it better. But it is coming out way too way way red but you'll see it better in the picture i'll show you a picture of the both roosters and uh, the hanging on the wall okay so there he is he's got a lot more color in him i added some black and some white and kind of you know fancied him up even more uh and then finished off the bottom the grass and then there's the other rooster that i originally did the first one uh, so that was lots of fun. I hope you enjoy this. It's really an easy thing to do. And if you're in the area, if you live near me and you want to take a class with me, please come and join me at the Magical Gypsy Cottage, okay? But links below to every place and everywhere you can find me. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.